you know, like, you know, you've been locking in a few dope freaking features, you know, over the past, you know, like year or so um, that I know are, are you know, real, real dope uh, uh, for you and stuff like that. Because like me, like you grew up with a lot of these freaking artists, uh, uh, you know, and so someone like Afro, man, uh, I'm curious like what that situation was like because again he has so, two verses you have one uh is that his song or is that you know, did you present that the thing what definitely his song um in fact anybody can go do a song to that right now uh it, oh, it's okay. a contest it's a contest i, I don't know I'm, I'm pretty sure it's over now i'm pretty sure it was only for march um but yeah there's all kinds of versions of that song I'm pretty sure i'm the only one that did a cartoon to it uh that I just sense. had to. I had to. Uh, all the other features that I've done are real. You know what I'm saying? And you can consider this a real song because there's no copyright on the thing. Yeah. Uh, anywhere I've uploaded it to, there's there's nothing. So, and that, I think that's really cool, uh, dude. You know what I mean? Like, he, he gave his fans a, an opportunity, and it's really cool. I had to jump on it. Uh, you know what I mean? It's pretty dope. Listen, first Echo of Man, all. Echo Man got raided by, by his by Ohio cops and I live in Ohio and I know how these I know how I'm not saying all of them are assholes yeah most of them are you know uh they just small town cops most of them and if, even if they're in the big city if they're in the big city then they you know they're in a big city man they deal with a lot of shit and then, then the small town guys they're kind of they're just jerks you know what I mean yeah they got nothing else better to do so they pick they pick and choose and uh, they they did Afro Man wrong, man, and uh, I, I I kept up with it, and I, I saw this opportunity. I was like, you know what, this is this is a time that I can speak some cool shit on a track with Afro Man and watch me win this contest. See, but this is the dope thing, right? Is that you know? So now, no, see that takes on a whole different freaking light, knowing that. You know, it was one of those, you know, situations that, you know, artists can can dig in and, and you know, kind of like, you know, remix, do their own version of. You are probably, like you said, the only one who would be able to do something a little extra to it. You know what I'm saying? He does a lot of these animated freaking videos uh, to his freaking songs, man. That gives him the, the ability to give the extra freaking flair. So I do hope that you did uh, uh, a win or I, I mean, at least... Huh. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a song out there that somebody did that is musically better than mine. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be the best rapper in the fucking world. I want. I don't want to be the best white rapper, or the best rapper here. I don't. None, none of that. Uh, that's too much. That's too. That's a lot of responsibility. It's too much responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to make dope tracks and dope records and dope cartoons and dope podcasts and have people enjoy what I do and that's about it. You know what I mean? And, if yeah. you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. No, but I think it gives squad, it bitch. gives you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but it gi it gives you that flair, though. It gives you that freaking flair, man. I'm telling you, um, it's crazy that you know. I mean, I honestly, let me get this the, the the story of like how you even started, you know, getting into the animated videos. Anyway, what was the, what was the thing that made you sort of make you. that change from the just green screen? To, you, to doing sir. A, me. You, you did how, it, sir. How's that? <laughs> how's that? You and all the other music review shows. Um, okay. You know, I like I like the green screen videos. I, I think they're dope. I have fun making them, and I and a lot of times I try to make them have like a nostalgic look. You know what I'm saying? Like old school, maybe the '70s or something. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but people still shit on them no matter what, even if it's a song about like your mom getting beat up so you're trying to make it look like the 70s and shit, you know? <laughs> yeah it's they still got shit they still got shit on um all all, all the live action videos got shit on so I, man I, man i i love I tell cartoons you, you know? i told you the I beavis and butthead Park. one what the beavis and butthead one was probably the most the the most perfect one i felt like that was you at, at, at the height of the green screen ones that that actually worked i felt like you right. were on beavis uh, and butthead and, and i just did a new one you know i, I just did that flawed one and uh -huh. everybody seeming seeming to really dig that one i don't really like most people don't really like the riddler but once they get to know the story of the riddler they get it yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it's a different vibe for him. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of this. It's kind of, that's the kind of song you gotta look up the history of. You know what I mean? Uh, the chick made a song with Esham. Esham's been dissed by M- Eminem. You know? Yeah. Um, Esham's a. She made a song with him. I had to get her on a track. Esham's my fucking one of my music legends, idols. You know what I'm saying? That's had what's to. up. But yeah, that's the that's the first live live action video I've done in how many? I don't even know what two three years. Yeah, man, cartoon? cause yeah. you went, you went to the to to the animated freaking, you know, thing or whatnot. But so, okay, so finish finish that story of like how how you you know sort of like you know you you got some criticism for some of the live action ones, and then you know where you like I'm I'm sick of that. Let me look into yeah, I, I, just if something if something's not working, you gotta try something else. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it in this music. Look at me in my eyes. You see him? See him? See him fucking ugly ass green eyes? Yes, I do. I'm gonna make it in this music shit. Even if I'm just a one hit wonder type shit. Even if I'm on just the level of like GG Allen 20 years from now, my shit is legendary to people. I never really went anywhere with it, but man, everybody knows that name. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Period. Hey, keep that, keep that mentality. Every artist needs to freaking know, man, no matter what. Like, look, there are. Hey, there's it's countless. Like, it's like a, it's huh. a status I put today. You, you can kick my ass over my music. You could even go so far as to take my life, and and it bugs a lot of people because I'm to the point to where you could do all those things to me, but you can't really take my music out of this world because too many people have it. Yeah. And and it's cool to finally be there. You know what I mean? I think I think the the thing with you is that you know you you tell your freaking story, which is what every artist needs to do. Like while you're out here making music, there are some artists who like I feel like try, they again they try to ride waves and and you know they just make they make you know what I feel are like you know club hits thing things things for 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 crowds and stuff like that. But they don't think about the content. What is In the listener way you getting? You know. It, I don't mean to cut you off, but no, in a way, you could say I kind of ride a wave because of the Juggalo thing. But the thing is, I don't paint my face. I don't ride with Psychopathic Records. I don't ride with Magic Ninja. I'm sicko, and I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Juggalo. It's like I am. You know, I was a Juggalo before I started making music. So of course I'm going to talk about that. Of course those are my influences. But I don't really yeah. ride. I don't really ride the train of that. You know what I mean? I just do me. You know, because if I rode the train of, like, the Juggalo shit, there's a lot of people that I've worked with that the Juggalos are like, what the fuck are you working with that dude for? You know? Mm-hmm. I'm sicko. I'm not yeah. psychopath. So you're like me in, in the in the aspect of that, like, I'm not 100% nerdcore, you know? I still, like, I felt, again, I always use that phrase, like, you know, too hip-hop for nerdcore and too nerdcore for, for hip-hop and shit like that. I yeah, always feel I, like I'm, I'm in between... I'm the juggalo of the juggalos, man. Like, I don't even get along with most, ju- most juggalos. Like, mm. you know, like, and, and if you know what juggalo means, it's usually outcast. You, we're an outcast. It's another way of saying outcast, you know? And Fights. In, in a lot of ways, I'm not, I'm the outcast of the outcast. And I, and, and I thrive off that, and I love that. You know what I mean? I'm not for everybody, but I'm for a select few, and those select few are... Well, you're my fucking sickos, bro. Like we're all we all got a fucked up head. Cause you gotta have a fucked up head to like my shit. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you gotta yeah. have a little bit of fucked up to to like my shit. Especially the horrorcore shit I make, you know? Oh yeah, like that so that's 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 definitely the test, right? You know what I'm saying? With with the with the with anything that has, you know, the subject matter that's gonna create a little bit of a conversation or be a little bit too racy, of course. Uh even with M, like some people had a problem with with certain content, and and you know you just Eminem's made some of the best horrorcore out there. Three A.M. the song he did about Kim. Three A.M. in the morning. You know. What have I'm you saying? ever have you ever asked yourself why Eminem would diss Insane Clown Posse? Eminem was way the fuck up here. ICP was way down here. Well, he's told the story a few times. And... He was it, he was hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was hurt when 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 they came, when Eminem went to ICP with that flyer and asked them to be on the show and ICP told him fuck you, it hurt him. So of course he's gonna diss. But listen to his horrorcore. You could you could hear it in Eminem. Oh yeah, man. But see, like M M is, 
I think a well-rounded freaking art. As much hate as he sure. freaking still gets, man. I feel That's like it. he he can hop on so many different type of records. He knows That's when to, to show the culture appreciation and, you know, list off, you know, some of the greats of the freaking past and stuff like that. He knows where he, he's, he's come from. Knows how to make, you know, more mainstream records and how to, you know, stay and remain in, in that, that lyricism, you know, uh, sector. I've always loved, you know, ICP for, you know, always and never not, n not not being themselves, I guess. Or is that like they, they, they have always been themselves and never, never changed. I don't feel like they've ever tried to go into any mainstream, you know, sector record. Like they've, they started something that you know has grown bigger and 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 has its own bigger movement than who they are as a person yeah it's yeah bigger, like that it's that's bigger crazy than joe, Boots and joe Ushler. it's bigger than yeah. eminem it's bigger than marshall mathers it's it's like it's like a, i'm still a michael jackson fan no matter what you believe with all the child molestation accusations and shit and how it darkened his whole career i'm still a michael jackson fan i still love the mu man's music the music is bigger than anything that he did or didn't do uh, mm -hmm. That goes for just about anybody. The music is bigger than the person, you know. That's how we. Okay, so with that said, right? Most artists wait until they get in the game to like, quote unquote, start taking shit seriously and stuff like that. But like, you guys need to start now. Right Take now. yourselves. Pretend you already have a record deal, but the label's just letting you make what you want, right? I'm in the but book. But still have the it's forever. Still have the the motivation to be the best in your genre. Do not settle for being, you know what I'm saying? I you know what I mean? My like try to, you know, just maximize my everything. My, music. Where, my I can't say my music. I'm in books and magazines and TV shows, yeah. Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV. I'm you know, and, and I ain't shit, dude. I ain't fucking shit and anybody can do this, you know? Uh Work hard. You put your mind to it. Stop buying drugs and alcohol. Spend your money on your, spend your, money on your music. That's a fact, though. That's Stop a fact. Stop hanging out bro. with people that's not really your friend. Watch your brothers. Oh my God, watch you know? your brothers. Watch your brothers. Come on, you got a song. You you, you got a that's song with that, man. Uh, vampire. But yeah, that's what's up, man. I'm gonna go ahead and let and let you go and stuff like that. We will. Yeah, man, I appreciate you letting me on, man. You know I'm gonna cut this up and show people. Ooh. We'll lock. We'll lock. We'll lock some something in, and and you know what I'm saying. I'm definitely gonna gonna you know lock in things with with my podcast. So more. uh, 